morning and it's Wednesday, middle of the week. Where did, where did Monday and Tuesday go? So I wanted to get back to you about this thing about polarity marketing, particularly about the aspects of the, um, the Nike story. So, you know, it, it's still rolling the Nike story. It's still, they're still causing that kind of level of um, resistance in the marketplace. But here's the thing. So Nike put this out in the world. Now, we will never know if my, Nike chose to do it provocatively or not. I remember some adverts in the 80s, actually, or maybe the 90s, where Benetton were putting out pro provocative billboards. Um, I don't know. I need to follow that one up, actually. Did it actually work? Well, for Nike, this has worked. Yes, their share price took a massive tumble last Monday, um, but it's back again. The share price has risen nicely. Their sales in the last three or four days for shoes are up by 31%. So did it work? And the question I have in my mind is, was it a plan? Did they set out to do this with this in mind? Or was it just they set out to create this piece of, uh, would you call it social content? I mean, you know, it's about dreaming. It's about living your dream. It's about going out and getting what you want to get and being the best. So I, I can't see there's anything wrong with the content itself. And maybe it wouldn't have been less con... Maybe this advert would have flunked if they hadn't choose this guy in the front, at the front. So I don't know where I sit with it or, or what, where, you know, it will be interesting to talk to someone from Nike about it. But I think they're being pretty tight-lipped on the subject. But the main point is to say here is that it has worked. Their share price has risen significantly and is on an upward trajectory. And polarity, it worked really, really well. But here's the thing about all this sort of stuff. It doesn't matter what you do, polarizing the market or making a noise or doing anything. If the product doesn't live up, to the expectation it's all irrelevant you know you can do you can say what you like you can you know what you're, what what this is doing it's creating the noise creating the energy but then something has to follow through with it so if nike didn't have stock of shoes in the shops after this event that would have been a fail they wouldn't have been able to take advantage of the crest you know, if they didn't have the systems in place to make all that happen, they wouldn't be able to take advantage of it. So, you know, while we will look at this kind of this thing that they've done as kind of amazing bit of work here, it actually is part of it is one piece of a larger system. And that's one thing I, I, I do talk about, about, you know, some people come to me and say, should I be doing this? Should I be doing that in terms of social media or in terms of marketing? Because a new thing has come out. They are only new access, new channels to the market. I was reading this morning, there's a new one coming. Self-driving cars will have entertainment systems with advertising inside them. Ta-da! A new market, a new channel. So yeah, so you know, it's like, yeah, the channel is just the channel. It's, does it solve a problem? Does it fit a need? Does it make someone's life better? And does it do the job? Simple you know, parameters, really. You know, can you do what you say you can? So, all right, this is just a kind of a bit of a ramble on that, really. But I just, it does make me laugh. I see all this kind of attention about these things. And actually, all they really are is just a way of getting your message in front of people. And if the message is the right message at the right time to the right person, you're going to win. Anyway, that's me and my coffee break ramble this morning because i'm now going to make some coffee anyway nice to talk to you and i hope we'll catch up soon all the best